Hey guys! It's Misty with Mystic Gigi. Alright, it's Misty with Mystic Gigi. Today we are doing a Dutch pour. And I have this color made up from literally just a, another Dutch pour. Picked up all the color off the table. And this is what I got. I had a lot of metallics in it. So that is my base color. It's like a really dark bluish green. So that's what we're using as our base. And my, my canvas is a 20 inch uh, gallery wrapped canvas. And my colors that we're using, we're going to put down the titanium white first. This is where I gotta figure out what design I want to do. I hate this part. <laughs> I almost want to go like I want to make it cool. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna wing it. I'm just going for it. Well, that's it. <laughs> okay, so there's my white, and here is my Liquitex light blue permanent. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, thank you so much for joining. I appreciate it, and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and hit the like button if you like this video, and hit the thumbs up, and share it if you would like. It all helps me out and it's free for you. Okay now this is my Amsterdam gold mixed with this little piggy gold um, I think it's harvest gold uh, pigment mixed with it. So this is just a mixed a made up color of the gold. And I'm literally just slapping on so many colors, it's not even funny. Then this one is Prussian Blue. So I apologize ahead of time. All my colors that are in this was not in that first part of the video. Some of them are, some of them aren't. I try to make it all in, the, in that video, but it doesn't always work like that. It doesn't always work out. <laughs> All right, this next one is a uh, color art pigment, and it is it is uh, Blue Bayou. It's very pretty. And if you don't know how to mix uh, primary elements or pigments with for a Dutch pour, I use Golden Soft gel gloss or just the gloss gel will work and you mix it with the gel gloss with water and then you mix it till it's like the consistency of the Dutch pour then you add the pigment stir it up real good and then um, add Floetrol if you do your Dutch pours with Floetrol okay this next color is Bronze by Amsterdam. Oh, so this is Pink Parasol. It's a color art pigment and it is really pretty uh, pastel pink, but it has like a really pretty type of an interference look to it once it hits different lighting and different backgrounds. So I'm going to see how this goes. I think it's going to make it a nice pop, especially when it's, it's dry. Okay, my next color is... It's a pigment called... Nebular, nebu, <laughs> nebula star. And it's very pretty. It's like a very deep, 
turquoise. Let's start over here. It almost matches my background. I have like 10 colors, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> then we got Payne's Gray by Amsterdam. Figured some dark with that dark background. Make some nice contrast. And then one of my favorites, this is Interference Blue by Color Art Pigments. And don't forget to get 20% off your Color Art and Primary Elements and Prism Pour all at colorart.com for 20% off your entire order. You can use the code Misty Nelson. 2021 and I'll leave that in the description below so that you don't have to worry about um, finding it again throughout the video. It's always in the description. If you don't know where the description is, right below the headline where the title is on your cell phone, where, right where the title of the vid video is, you go over to the right hand side where the subscribe button is and right above that there's a little tiny triangle you press that and it'll bring a drop down description box in case you didn't know that okay now we got um, Amsterdam's turquoise blue which is this one I love that blue interference you just wait till it dries it's gonna be some pretty pretty stuff <laughs> All right, and then this silver is just a deco art uh, silver that I tried to make really silvery. <laughs> and it just looks gray, so yeah. <laughs> any silver will work. Hey, if any of you guys have a really good uh, recommendation for a silver that really pops, that doesn't look white, that stays really vibrant and silver please leave it in the description below I am all ears to hear about what silver you guys use because I can't find one that even does anything justice <laughs> in my you know I, I know that deco art sterling silver but like the 24 karat gold it's always out of stock and it's just I'm not too fond of that one anyways but I'm willing to hear all, all of your recommendations because I would, I want to try a different one. Even if it's a pigment, I'm down for whatever. Okay. Ooh, look at that interference blue. It's like popping through. All right. Um, I think I'm good on. think if I want any more. Okay, so my blow dryer is always on low. Uh, depending on your blow dryer, all blow dryers are different, but I have a link for this exact blow dryer in the description below. It has a cool button, so that makes it nice, and it's tiny. It's one of the smaller travel hair blow dryers, but it has cool, a cool option. So, um, there's a link in the description below if you're interested in this blow dryer. It's phenomenal. If you are having a hard time doing Dutch pours, get yourself a travel blow dryer, the small ones. But make sure it's above or at 1100 watts. 1100 or up. Because other than that, it's not going to do the job that you want. <laughs> okay. Close your ears while I turn on my hair dryer. <laughs> I'm just going to push the paint in a little bit. I don't like to push it over. And this also gives me an idea of how much paint I have on the canvas when you push it in like this. In case you don't have enough, it'll, you'll know. <laughs> Woo, that's pushing it in a little too much, huh? Mm 
All right, let's do this. Just gonna go for it. <laughs> and that was kind of different, huh? <laughs> Yeah, that didn't go as planned. Um, um, um. <laughs> I'm liking the lacing that, and the shells that are popping up. that part <laughs> get this little trusty guy out this is a world's smallest leaf blower it's actually to clean out your computer keyboard and stuff small little nicks and crannies but this is also in my Amazon sh a link in the bottom in the description there's a link <laughs> and it will uh, for one of these if you're interested um, they're little they're like 20 bucks but it's well worth it helps things spots that you can't do with your mouth too I'm, I'm horrible with my breathing so I don't like to use my breath <laughs> it like has just enough power to get the job done without going overboard Push it out just a little bit. Be afraid to scrape parts and play. <laughs> I think I'm going to scrape this part. I don't like it. <laughs> this part, it's not doing it. I could almost fold the color over and then just re <laughs> relay it out, huh? I think that actually might work. <laughs> Save paint. That's quite funny, <laughs> actually. <laughs> this is mixed, is a paint mixture of a bunch of metallics, so. <laughs> I 
and blues. Also, if you like this video enough, please share it. It helps me tremendously, and it doesn't cost you anything to share it. <laughs> All right, should I add some more color right there and try to blow it out, or? Oh, I love this color. Look at the iridescent blue coming through. Oh, I love that iridescent blue. What do you think? <laughs> I think I need to blow this out more. Better. And then I'm going to do make this an obvious little space. on top of the design. It's a good thing there wasn't much there, huh? This base color is so pretty. But it's gonna dry looking like a champ. like it now. <laughs> oh, let's fix this part. Too much of a big blob of gold.
<laughs> there we go. Bring you down for a close up after I fix this one spot. <laughs> the canvas. that iridescent blue right there interference that's it right there oops right there it's all over you'll see it pops of it here and there looks even cooler once it's dry okay guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button please and hit that like button if you liked it and please don't forget to share it and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss another any of my upcoming videos. I release two videos a week, no matter what. So you can look forward to two videos a week, at the least. Oh, check out those cells. It's so pretty. So if you guys have any questions, please leave them below. I'm more than happy to help. If you need help with your um, consistencies, uh, also my Dutch pour ratios is the same as always. Two cups Floetrol, one cup paint, half cup water. And it's always in the description. Forgot to mention that at the beginning, sorry about that. <laughs> but go get yourself some color art pigments, they're 20% off. They also have prism pour, which is an acrylic paint, and these are acrylic pigments, but you can use, they also have resin um, pigments, they have all kinds of stuff, go we'll check them out. Colorart.com, C-O-L-O-U-R-A-R-T-E.com, I'll leave that in the description. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed, and until next time, I hope I, you guys come back again. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.